You can customize your pricing even more by placing a percentage discount or percentage increase on the price of a product if its order falls on a certain time of day, day of the week, or date of the year. This is achieved by creating a pricing rule set, and in this video, we will teach you how. First of all, name your rule set after the products that it will be applied to with maybe a description of the rule set. So for my dining products, I will create a weekend and summer surcharge. Now, the first thing you can do with rule sets is to adjust the price for the pickup day and the return day. For example, many event rental companies of ours need to drop their items off the day before an event and pick them up the day after. The customer will usually only expect to be charged for the day of the event, so you can select do not charge pickup day and do not charge return day. You can adjust the prices of when this kicks in. If you want to make the rule apply all day, you can add that it starts at 12 a.m. or you can say that it's for pickups after 6 p.m. for example and returns for 10 a.m. Now onto seasonal pricing and weekend pricing. Adding a rule for a range of dates allows you to create a discount or a pricing increase for certain days of the year. I'm going to create a summer surcharge. So this will increase my prices if the order falls in from the months of 1st of June 2024 up until the 31st of September 2024 or the 30th and these will come in and out of effect at midnight. Now we can add the method of when this rule applies. So the first way to apply the rule is when the order overlaps the time period. So for example, if the order day starts from the 28th of May, which is obviously outside of these times, but finishes on the 2nd of June, which is obviously inside these times, only the days of the 1st and 2nd of June will have the 20% increase in price. The rest of the days will remain with their normal prices per day. The next way is to have the rule fitting in the order. So if you have an order that starts on the 28th of May and finishes on the 2nd of June, um, the rule is not applied to any of the dates of the order, as the order has not fit exactly within the rule period of this time. The next way is to have the rule spanning over the order. So for example, if you have an order that starts on the 28th of May and ends on the 2nd of June, every single day of the order will be affected by the 20% increase as it spans over the order. The most popular way with Bookable that customers select for the apply when method is the rule overlaps the order. So only the dates that fall within the order period of an, the rule period of an order, such as the 1st and 2nd of June, will be affected with a 20% increase in price. And I'm going to create that 20% increase by adding in the number into the adjustment. If we are creating a discount, we will put the minus symbol in there and you can see that that is changed to a discount now. But for today, we are using a pricing increase. The same method works exactly the same for adjusting the prices for the days of the week. So for example, if I click range of days, I can create some weekend surcharges. This will come into effect with a 20% increase again. Uh, if the order falls from Saturday midnight up to Monday midnight, so Saturday and Sunday, the days will be affected by a 20% increase. And we're going to have the rule overlapping the order. Meaning again, if this order is from Friday to Tuesday, only the days of Saturday and Sunday will be affected by the 20% increase in price. Now, if you create a rule for days of the week, such as the weekend surcharge and dates of the year, such as the summer surcharge, you can also determine how these rules interact with each other and how the price is calculated by stacking. So for example, if we were to click this button twice, we have stacked the summer surcharge on top of the weekend surcharge. If we place the summer surcharge rule above the weekend pricing rule, which we have done, this one takes priority. And the weekend pricing rule will be calculated based on the adjusted price by the summer surcharge. You can check out our Help Centre article for more information on stacking and how you can use different stacking rules to adjust the price of your product. Now, if we save this rule set, we will want to add this to our products. So if this only applies to one product, we can click into the product 
and into the pricing panel, scroll down to advanced pricing rules and add on the dining weekend slash summer rule set. But if this does apply to multiple products, we can add all of the products that applies to. So I will add all my dining products today. Click actions, click edit products, click advanced pricing rules and add the discount onto all of them. And that is a bulk action and it is applied in one step to your dining products. You can create as many rule sets as you like to add different rules to different products.